Hello, my name is Conrad. I work at the Stony Brook University Career Center, and today I'm here with Danielle Mendy from Power Data. Hello, Danielle. Hi, happy to be here. Absolutely, we're more than happy to have you. Also, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, and the company? Absolutely. So my name is Danielle Mendy. I am the East Coast Campus Recruiter for Paraveda Solutions. And a little bit about Paraveda, we are an employee-owned strategic services and technology consulting firm. Uh, we grow and deploy talented people to help solve the strategic and technical challenges of our clients. So, you know, we are looking typically for computer science, computer engineering, anybody that's really passionate about technology though and has some coding experience. Um, so we deliver creative solutions and curate lifetime relationships with our clients um, and our communities. We are also located nationwide. So we have cities um, and we have offices in most major cities. So it's a little bit about us. All right. Thank you. Um, so please share with us the types of positions that you are recruiting for at the Virtual Diversity Recruitment Absolutely. So we are looking for technical consultants. As I mentioned, we typically look for computer science, computer engineering, but we are very open to anybody who is past passionate about ever-changing technologies. So as a technical consultant here, um, you would be working on a variety of different technical projects. So um, we have a wide array of skills and our goal here is to you know, make you lifelong learners and teach you um, different types of languages for different types of technologies to help support and work with these clients over time. So it's a really exciting role. It's ever changing. Um, if you're looking for something that's um, just not staying the same through a long period of time, this is a great position for you. And it's something that's a little bit different in the tech sphere because you are working with so many different industries and different technologies as well. Um, so we're looking for full time. Um, we're looking for students that are graduating in 2021 um, at any point. So seniors, we would love to hear from you. And then we are also looking for some interns as well. Um, we have a virtual internship internship that we're planning out for the summer. So looking for both of those types of students. Awesome, thank you very much. Uh, can you tell me a bit about the diversity and inclusion initiatives at Paradata? Absolutely. So I will give a broad overview. Um, so while, you know, I do want to say first and foremost, while Paraveda has many programs and policies in place, advancing diversity, you know, equity and inclusion, we believe there's always room for growth. So we've learned a lot of valuable lessons and we're continuing to make progress. Um, but here are some of the initiatives that we're proud of that champion diversity, equity, and inclusion currently. Um, first and foremost, we have unconscious bias and inclusion in the workplace workshops firm-wide, um, but we also have more frequent and specific workshops for people on the recruiting team and management team members who are making decisions about our, you know, recruiting and our offers. Um, we sponsor affinity groups for LGBTQ plus women um, and employees of color groups to foster a more inclusive and supportive work environment for them. Um, other benefits, we have six weeks paid paternal leave. We have domestic partner benefits um, and development opportunities for everybody. So we have technical certifications that are available firm-wide and we have Udemy courses as well that are available at any point for our employees. Uh, but what I really want to touch upon is something that I think makes Paravator really different. Um, our firm is architected to minimize bias in our evaluations and promotions. And we do this through a couple of ways. So we have a transparent and clearly defined performance expectation framework. Um, so employees are reviewed against this expectation framework. It's the same codified set of expectations. Um, and when you're up for promotion, which is annually at Paraveda, you are not competing against, against anybody. It's all about the individual and your individual progress. So for example, when I was in the New York office, I helped to run um, some of our just promotion board, we call them promotion boards. And four out of four of our associates that were up for a manager, manager level position all received that manager level position. They weren't competing against each other. They were all ready. And so we promoted all of them. Um, on top of that, we have 360 degree feedback for all of our semi-annual reviews. So you're up for promotion yearly, but we have semi-annual reviews to tell you exactly you know, how you can improve and what you're succeeding on. Um, what's more is everybody in the same role 
earns the same salary. So we know what our CEO makes here. We know what people of every single level make here. Um, there's no special bonuses, salary for people at the same level. And you as an employee, like for example, my team, I know what everybody makes on my team and I know why, and I know why they're at the level that they are at because of our promotion boards. So um, that's something that's just really unique and makes our culture really transparent and fair. Um, and last but not least, our formal mentorship program guides and coaches every single one of our employees um, from day one to foster fair and equal expectations and treatment of all employees. So that's a, I know that was long winded. It's a little bit about us, though. All right. Thank you so much for that, Danielle. You make Paravita sound like an amazing place to work. <laughs> I'm sure it is. It is. Um, so finally. Why has Paravana chosen Stony Brook University as a place to address its diversity recruiting needs? Great question. So as I mentioned, um, this is our first event with Stony Brook, and we've done a lot of research to target new sources for our recruitment efforts. Um, we have a rapidly growing New York office um, and took a look at Stony Brook as another avenue to begin recruiting. As I mentioned, we have offices nationwide. So if you're interested in those other offices too, that is completely fine. Um, but in terms of diversity and inclusion, there are a few things that stood out to us when we were looking at schools to target. Um, first and foremost, there's an entire office at Stony Brook dedicated to providing resources to create a diverse and inclusive environment at school. Um, believe it or not, having an entire department dedicated to equity and access is still not prevalent everywhere. Um, there's a strong non-discrimination policy that you all have and tools to help students um, and support students in minority groups. So that was one of the things that we noticed. Um, looking at Judy Brown Clark's diversity action plan for high performance um, and guide to allyship was so impressive and truly inspiring. Um, having a plan laid out that's public with action items and resources, very impressive to us. Um, and we want to attend schools and recruit from schools that we as a firm can learn from. Um, and then your overall diversity score on campus and the percentages of students um, that are from a diverse population is well, well, well above the national average, which is so important to us. And being in New York, we want to make sure that we're attending schools that really represent the population. Um, and you have a very high percentage of racial diversity and male to female ratio, which is what we look at. Um, another thing that's important to us is we look at the university's staff members and how diverse that group is. Um, and again, Stony Brook is well above average in that department. Um, and last but not least, and I could go on for a very long time, but many student organizations in the tech space at Tony, Stony Brook are focused on diversity. And all of these groups, we actually work with on other campuses and are hoping to plug in and sponsor and support them at Stony Brook eventually as well. So, um, for example, National Society of Black Engineers, um, Society of Asian Scientists and Engineers, Women in Computer Science, Society of Women Engineers. We target all these groups, as I mentioned, on different campuses and um, would love to, you know, get started in helping to support those groups on campus at Stony Brook as well. Awesome. I'm sure they all will look forward to working with you as well. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time today, Danielle. Of course. Thank you so much. We're so excited and we hope to meet some bright students at the fair. Absolutely.